All right, here we are at AWSI. We're at the Nash booth with you and Jaspin. about this new wings yeah so we've got two wings in our lineup at the moment we've got the matador lt so we originally had the matador this is the lt it's got no no windows in here it's got really simple handle layout this is mostly just use these these two handles and then you have this yeah. you can actually wing around with one hand as well which is cool, cool. and just uh if it's super strong wind as well some people like to hold on to this one for a little bit less power yeah so it's a nice and they're really nice, comfy handles. So the this, Matador is just your general all No, or so the is Matador it? is actually more of a wave riding specific okay. wing. Yeah. It's got really good low end grunt. You can see a lot of canopy tension through here. Yeah. Really instant power. Um, if people are riding sinker boards and stuff, it gives you that extra power to get up in between waves and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, cool. So these come from a three to a six meter. And yeah, it flags out really well. Downwinding, it's super fun as well. I, I ride a bit of both of the wings. In the smaller sizes, I'm more on, on this yep. for when it's strong, and then I use these ones from the sizes up. Cool. But yeah, this is pretty much yeah designed to be it's, nice and stable. You can see how super, balanced it is yeah, just in your hand. Yeah, exactly. Super lightweight. It flags out really well. Yeah. That's one of the things. When you're wave riding, a lot of people don't really talk about how a wing flags out, yeah, yeah. which is super important when you're on the wave. You don't want it to be twisting side to side or going yeah, yeah, yeah. like up and down, and you just want it to be sitting, drifting completely behind you really yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. And this thing on a wave just behaves perfectly behind you all the time. So cool. yeah, that's the Matador, cool. um, which, and then we'll go into the MK4, which is our most recent wing that's come out. Do you mind just uh, yeah. unclipping that one? We'll like, tie this back on. Sweet. So this is the Wing Surfer Mark IV. So it's our fourth generation of the Wing Surfer wing. We obviously came out with the wing, first one on the market. Um, with the Wing Surfer and ever since we've just been refining it, making it more balanced, more bigger wind range, easier to use, all that. So this one obviously has the windows, which yep. are really important for especially beginning and busy spots. You need to be able to see around you, see where you're going. We've kind of strategically placed these so that you can see them through, a, through an angle as well. You can always kind of use them. We've made them as small as possible while keeping... Yeah, it's interesting so you can, how the different placements of all the yeah, windows. Everyone exactly. <laughs> and you need to be able to fold your wing as well and not yeah. fold through a window, yeah. obviously, which is important to pack it up. We've uh, changed this year. We've gone to these handles similar to the the Matador, which yeah. if you feel in the super comfortable handles, yeah. really nice kind of responsive tight handles. You, you don't want the big loose floppy handles that you have no control over the wing. This is really great for tacking right. and jibing. You They're can kind of square so you can just Yeah, sit and you, your if head. you're tacking and jibing, putting the wing over your head, you can control the wing with one hand really nicely as well, right. which is pretty important for quick moves. And then we've also added a uh, harness line attachment here. Oh, yeah. So that's really nice. Places like here where if you want to go do a down window, you can actually go do it by yourself because you can just hook into the harness and on a foil with a harness. I've been from here to Viento, which is normally a huge down window. I do it upwind and then you can <laughs> yeah. downwind it back. And it's, cool. it's pretty fun with the current here. You can actually go up there and come back in about the same time. So it's about 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back. So Perfect. with the harness attachment, that's made it a well, lot easier. This window you can actually see through when you're going. Yeah. A lot of them are down here. It's like, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess it's still early. People are still learning. We'll let them catch up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, otherwise, this is kind of just our all-round wing. It comes in a much bigger size range. It starts at a two and a half and goes all the way up to a seven and a half, I think. And also the seven, the six and a half and the seven are a much different plan form than the rest of the wings. They're really designed for light wind, grunt, and power. Right. And they're actually, this year, have been really 
people have been really impressed with that six and a half and seven and a half. We have a couple here that we're hoping to get, get on the water today and tomorrow. It looks like a great light wind foiling day for people to test those ones, but yeah. they're just super efficient, super stiff, nice canopy tension as well. Nice. Um, these ones are really stable as well. The, the thing that's great about the, uh, the Wing Surfer Mark IV is the wind range. It's got a much bigger wind range than the Matador. It's really kind of, we really want to go for the minimal like quiver so you can have, you can take a four meter out for example myself I can get out there on my sinker board or, or on a, a bigger board I can get out super light wind 13, 14 knots on a four meter with a yeah. board that floats and then you can hold these wings so high they just, yeah. they have really great like ability to fly upwind into the wind which the steeper you go upwind the more kind of wind you're letting go through and past the wing and not catching in the canopy and you can really just hold these things down in a lot of wind. We've also um, got a dump valve as well now so you can have just the one pump option and keep your dump valve closed on the strut at all times and use it like normal or if you want a quick pack up there's a dump valve on the strut because a lot of the struts on, wi on wings are just so yeah. big it takes a while to drain the air out so with a dump valve valve that really helps pack yes. up quicker and we've also just made the whole thing stiffer and more rigid than last year solid leading edge construction the way we've kind of tapered it down to the wingtips as well it gives a really kind of nice even pump you don't get flappy wingtips or yeah. soft bits in the middle for jumping and all that it's all really s strong and solid so yeah this is the new mk4 comes in some cool colors it's we've got this this one here the yellow and blue Mm -hmm. And then there's also a grain blue one similar to that pivot over there. Cool. And yeah, I guess we can uh, move into some foils. Nice. So yeah, we're here with our new foil range. Um, carried on a couple of models from before and added a few things in and some technical advances as well in the connections and the fuselage and all that kind of stuff. Cool. Um, I'll start off with our HA range, which is been around for a little bit, we've been refining the shapes and stuff. This is our 1040, which is a smaller size for most people. It's not like a learning size, but it's, uh, should we let these? They've been super active. Yeah, so we've got the, the high aspect range. So these are mainly for winging and uh, also for surf foiling and downwind supping and that kind of stuff. But for winging, they're really great. They're a more efficient wing. They're really thin, yeah. really low drag. So they pump really well, they glide well. They also turn super nice as we thin out into the tips here. You don't get too much lift out in the tips. So one thing with a lot of high aspect wings is that you'll find they're really straight the whole way and they have a similar profile the whole way out, yeah. which means when you start banking a turn on them, what happens when you bank a turn is this tip up here is now traveling a lot faster than this tip down here. Right. So it's making a lot more lift and then it's really hard to bring it back because yes. it's lifting, it wants to just keep going. So we've kind of thinned out the tips here, so when you do bank into a turn, you really are able to bring it back and stabilize it and don't find yourself just coming off balance too easy. These, this is the smallest one in the high aspect range and it goes all the way up to 2140, which is a huge wing, but one that's really easy and stable and kind of a more efficient wing that people can still learn on. Um, then last year we brought out the MA range, which is basically similar profile through the middle to an HA, but the size up. So this is the 1200, so it would be the similar uh, middle uh, section to like an 1800 high aspect, so quite a bit of lift. But taking off the, sh blunting off the tips makes it a lot more beginner friendly, really loose and nice to carve. And for wing freestyle, this is what a lot of the guys are using as well. Surf foiling, they're great. And then in the smaller sizes, as we said, kite foiling. So this is a really versatile foil, the MA. Yeah. It's really fun for just if you were to get one wing to do it all, this is kind of the one that's that the, does everything. The tickets. Yeah. Cool. Then we've also brought out for our constructions this. Um, monocoque system so we've got a new carbon fuselage that slots together with the tail section here this is on the MA range and the HA range 
comes like this, so it just makes a really stiff, solid connection to the front wing. So obviously, you can't take the front wing off the fuselage, you yeah. slide the fuselage together, but it gives you a much more responsive ride than before. Cool. So this is really so kind of the high end performance. No, because yeah. it is also really nice to be able to have the modular system, just right. take off a front wing, put yes. on another one. Right. This is this system's more for people who really care about the stiffest, most performance they can get out gotcha. of a foil. But if you're still someone like me, who wants to be able to go between the sports and change yeah. your foils all the time, I still ride the, the standard yeah. aluminium fuselage with the three bolt front wing. Cool. And then new that's just coming out now, so this will be a nice early release for you guys. This is the Mark 1. So these foils are coming in smaller sizes than the HA range. They are quite high aspect, yeah. but they're, they're more designed specifically towards winging, where they've got Per, for their size, they have a slightly thicker section through the middle, so they lift a little bit easier. So you can ride a smaller foil that's still high aspect, but you can pop it up a little bit earlier than a sim similar size high aspect foil. Okay. Also, we've blunt, blunted the tips off to just for free for the freestyle guys and stuff. It is it is just a lot nicer not to have that dagger coming out the end. Yeah. Um, and then it, these foils also really turn and roll over really nicely. So they're fast. So, there's a full range they're, of them. so we go from a 550 is the smallest, and a 700, and 900, and an 1100. So they're going to be really great all-round foils as well. They were designed more with winging in mind, but same thing. The small ones, uh, the 550 and the 700, are super fun for kiting. Another thing that's great is you can ride with the wingtip. Just you can ride with this much wingtip out just constantly. It's wow. super, super fun, super yeah. nice. They do thin out as well into the tips similar to what I was saying before, which kind of gives that more controllable feel while not losing the glide and the pump ability. Yeah. But yeah, these are great for the, the smaller ones are great for the smaller guys doing the wing freestyle, wanting that little, that more kind of glide and high performance, high aspect feeling, right. but at the same time having more turn and looseness than a normal high aspect. So compared to the high aspect, you'd lose a little bit of glide and pump, Right. But then you'd gain a lot in the freedom and the turning and the freestyle ability. Wow. So these are pretty exciting. They're super fast, really fun. So that's brand new this year? Brand new, not even out yet. So wow. here you go. And then moving on to what is my personal favorite foil. It's the one that I wing on and surf foil on the most is the 914. Mm -hmm. So this foil basically came a bit of a the backstory behind this foil is it started with the same kind of idea that we had with the kite foil. So you can see the kite foil really comes down and then starts like revert the, the curve, the curve comes curve back comes, up and yeah. it really thins out. And what happens with that is it gives you a lot of glide and a lot of efficiency, but also at high speeds, these actually wash out a bit and turn into a slight bit of downforce. So instead of making lift, they start creating downforce, which actually equalizes the balance between the middle and the wingtip which means at speed you have a more stable ride you're not they're not foils where you see a lot of guys going faster and faster and faster and they start leaning over the front more and more and more right. and you have to these foils are really great all of our foils in general we really make a point to have even foot pressure at all speeds yeah. we don't have any foils especially these where at high speed you're just getting too much lift and that's why you blow up yeah. you never find the top end of these ones they just always hold stable they really wash out the speed and what Robbie wanted was something a little bigger that he could go out and smash around like he does windsurfing at full speed, but on his wing. Right. He wanted something, and that, this is where this 914 came from. Nils designed this one, and it is just a machine. It goes so fast, it's so efficient, and because it's got these washed out tips, when you tur it's the most carby, turny, high aspect foil I've ever ridden by far, wow. like hands down. So it does need, it's quite thin and efficient, so it needs a little bit of power and technique to get going. You wouldn't put a beginner foiler on it. Right. But because it's so efficient, once you get going, it's really easy to keep that speed. It's really fast, it's really efficient, and it pumps great as well for such a small foiler, 900. So foiling, you can easily link waves back up with it down windows. You can go, I've been from Viento to here without touching my wing the whole way, just linking on a 900. Wow, so this cool. is definitely my favorite foil, the highest performance winging foil we have. Only comes in one size, but it's kind of, for because it's so efficient and fast, it kind of works for people of all weight ranges. 
once you get it up and going, it just really wants to keep going no matter your weight. So this is this is kind of a top of the line performance wing foil, the 914. The future. This is the future. This nice. is this is the one. <laughs> um, and then again with our masts, we have 75, 85, 95, and 105 in three yeah. constructions: the aluminium, carbon 35, and carbon 100. And then, yeah, our new fuselage system, which is two M8 bolts instead of the three M6. And it's kind of a tattle system into the fuselage, which is super stiff. It's got a plastic shim on it, which really fills the gap and gives it that nice, solid feel. So it's really yeah. stiff and you can still get it on and off super easily. So is easily. this composite or aluminum? Yeah, it's aluminum. Yeah. yeah. And so we have this and then the carbon fuselage is the one that's the one permanently right. attached to the front wing. Gotcha. And from there, I'm going to pass you on to Derek, who's uh, from Pacific Board Sports locally, and he's going to run you guys through all the boards for the wing. Awesome. Cool. Sweet. Thanks so much. Thanks a lot. Hey, everybody. We're here at the AWSI with Derek Spruill the uh, sales rep for Nash. He's gonna take us through uh, some of the hoverboards. How's it going? Good, good. Yeah, so um, we're launching a couple new boards here this fall. Uh, we'll start with the Hover Compact LE. So essentially what we wanted to do was punch in a bunch of volume in a shorter, um, slightly wider outlet. Yeah. Um, or outline, sorry. Um, so yeah, we, we, we pared it down. Went a little bit thicker, a little bit wider, um, and essentially what that's going to do is you're going to get smaller board handling on water um, or above the water, uh, and then um, just kick off whatever. It's, it's going to add a little bit more volume um, for guys who want you know the higher volume stuff. Uh, it's been really popular in Europe for like the freestyle guys, um, especially with the bottom shaping. Um, where it's got a fair bit of nose rocker, so what that does, if you're jumping and whatnot, is it just kicks back up right. and, uh, and jumps back off the water. Um, so and we are doing this in a 115, 180, and 70 liter uh, option, um, and I believe they're all under five feet in length. Cool. So um, really actually quite stable, um, but yeah, again, on foil uh, performance is, is pretty killer. Um, then another thing that uh, we are breaking out here is the new Hover Bullets. Um, so they come in a, yeah, so again, um, made for like the GK or GWA, sorry. Um, and a lot of the, the European racing scene is, is really starting to take off. Um, so in, in Robbie, obviously, racing has been a huge part of his heritage and his career. Um, so going fast is, is one of his favorite things to do. Sure. So we wanted to design a board that really was designed to go fast upwind. Um, you know, it's got the smooth or it's got smooth edges here, heavy bevels. So on your hard reaches, uh, you know, touch and go riding, it's just going to go hit chop smoothly and uh, and really carve up wind quite nicely. So um, and yeah, pretty flat deck on it. Yep. Um, you know, kind of a gradual nose rocker into a fairly flat section, um, just straight kick off the table, tail, um, a nice pre prayed carbon uh, um, reveal on the tail as well. Um, so yeah, this has been a, a fun board. Um, this is the 85 and we also make it in the 65 right here. Um, so I got out on the 65 the other day and it's, uh, it's a fun one. Yeah. You can really, really edge hard up wind with them. Um, so that shape really lets you like lean the board out yeah. and get out in the foil like yeah. the racers. Yeah, that's really where it's going to shine is on those, you know, hard upwind reaches. Um, and then the other board that I've sort of been, a I'd been asking for is for guys who are wanting to go windsurf uh, or they want, let's say, a board that they can do multiple things with. Oh, yeah. um, so like for the windsurfers wanting to get in a winging, but they're not quite sure they want to put a windsurf sail on it. Um, I've sort of been asking for an under seven foot crossover board. Um, and that's where the Windfoil 131 comes in. Um, so yeah, just, it doesn't have the fin boxes or anything like that. Um, sort of takes a little bit more inspiration from our windsurf foiling line and goes into that. Um, yeah, full deck pad, mass track, um, but in a 6.6 six length, um, so that's kind of nice as an offering there. Very nice. And then we'll jump over to the other rack here and uh, we'll start with the inflatable at the bottom. 
So our hover inflatable line has grown this year as well. So this is our 135. Um, and we now offer an 80, 100, 135, and 170 in this, uh, in this construction. We added uh, foot strap inserts this year. And then it also has a full carbon plate on the bottom. So it's got a really solid connection for your foil. Um, once you got these, these guys pumped up to about 20 PSI, they are rock solid, um, pump really well. Um, Very cool. And, uh, and the other key advantage too, for the those who are traveling or maybe short on storage in the garage or closet, I mean, that's what they pack down to. It's amazing. So yeah. the size of this board packs, packs to is really, really nice. Um, from there, we have the Hover 110, which has been just an awesome size. So like the traditional Hover uh, Carbon Ultra line um, coming in a 140, 125, 110, 95, 85, 75, 60, 50, 40, and 30. Um, personally, I spend a lot of time on the 60 here in Hood River. Yeah. Um, so this is my oh. sort of go-to bread and butter board. I like the pointy nose. Yeah. Look. <laughs> There's so many like... Just the blunt ends. <laughs> yeah. um, I find this to be a really, really good size for me and my weight here at yeah. 180 pounds. Um, oh. Just, I, It's just uh, low enough volume that I can sink it, yeah. um, but it's a high enough volume that it just wants to pop out of the water and get going. Right. Um, so kicks up out of the water, gets going really easy. Um, on foil performance is great, pumps well, carves round. Um, I do think the 410 length too is, is a really really good length um, that I found uh, as far as how it behaves underwater. When it comes up to the surface, it's not super twitchy. Um, you can get it to the surface and just put along while waiting for a gust to get you up on foil. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think there's it been- does, The nose doesn't sink even though it's- No, yeah, up. yeah, no, and it's got just enough rocker. And, yeah. yeah, I think there's been a lot of uh, resistance, we'll say, to the sinker boards. Yeah. Um, but honestly, the the performance you get when you're up on foil is, is pretty amazing. Yeah. And uh, Very yeah, cool. so this is a great shape. I really like the 410 length. Again, big fan of that. Um, and then of course, uh, you know, I think with winging, what we've seen too is it's just a lot more women getting into it right. um, across the board. So for the ladies, um, we decided to add a Alana graphic to the lineup too. Um, so this comes in a 75 and 95 um, and just draws inspiration from our Alana line of, of graphics. Um, so still, still the same shape and construction as our normal Hover Carbon Ultras, um, but just in a slightly more uh, female-centric graphic. Um, but cool. yeah, so, um, and I think that's about it as far as our wing boards go. It's, a, it's amazing. It's quite the lineup, but um, you know, a little bit something for everyone. So yeah, absolutely. Um, it's growing and we're stoked to be part of it. Well, we're looking forward to uh, getting out on the water with all this stuff. Uh, Check out Nash.com and uh, all their products are online. Yep. Or go to your local shop and yeah. talk to your uh, your people. Cause Visit your local shop, Nash.com. Um, for us in the U.S. here, NashUSA.com as well. Um, you know, there's plenty of online resources. And then, of course, support your local dealer. They're all here this week, brushing up on knowledge, and uh, they're ready to share it with you guys. So, um, yeah. Awesome.